Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing a pick a card reading for you guys today. I put up a poll recently in my community posts and so many of you guys voted for this reading. And the topic of today's reading is what is my next step? I'm feeling this vibe, you guys. This was a really good choice. It's definitely time to make some decisions to get the ball rolling. We had the spring equinox recently, and there's just this fresh new vibe of energy that's moving us forward at this time. So if you need a little bit of a motivation or a pick-me-up or some encouragement, or you're just curious to find out what the tarot has to say about your next step, then stay tuned. I want to let you guys know that my spring sale is on. All you have to do to receive a personal reading is head to my website and the information is in the description below. And I have applied the discount already to all of my services so you can go and see the sale price. If you guys want to live chat with me, hang out with me via Zoom or Skype for an hour and to just talk about life and like what's going on and have some fun, hang out, see what the tarot has to say, then you can purchase that reading. And I also offer pre-recorded video readings. This is where you let me know what your questions are and then I record a video for you and send it back. This is nice, it's kind of like a little bit more anonymous and it's cool because you can go back and watch the video multiple times. Whenever I purchase a personal reading, this is the kind that I purchase, so I offer that as well. So we've got discounted prices on top of my already very affordable rates. And um, all you have to do is just go to my website, check it out. You can receive your reading within two weeks to get a really great price. If you want to receive your reading within three days, you pay just a little bit more. I also offer same day readings. If you're like, you know what, I need my reading now, <laughs> then you can select that option. It's super easy. As you can see, just select it, add it to your cart. It's like purchasing off of any other website and you will have your reading. So I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support. When you guys purchase readings, it allows me to continue to put free readings like this up on my channel. So if you guys want to find out what your next step is, all you have to do is simply choose a card or a stack of cards. We've got three options for you guys here today. Number one, number two, or number three. Once you have chosen, head down below to the comments or the description below where the timestamps are posted and you can just click on your timestamp and instantly be fast forwarded to your part in the reading. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you will always be notified when I'm posting more of these pick a card readings and I'll see you for your reading soon. For those of you who choose number one, let's see what your cards are. What is your next step forward? So you're getting the Eight of Wands and the Grandfather card. Oh, these cards go so well together. I find it so funny that we're getting the Eight of Wands for you because this is a card that's literally telling you to take action. So whereas maybe for some other people later with this reading, I might pull cards that are telling you your action is more about not taking action, rest, self-care. I'm sure someone's going to get that today. That's not the case for you. This is such a wonderful card. As you can see, things are popping for you right now. It's possible your phone's going to be ringing off the hook. You're going to get a lot of text messages. There's going to be emails. People are going to be hitting you up. People are going to be very drawn to your energy right now. There's going to be a lot of opportunities coming in for you. So there are some decisions that need to be made. This card has a lot to do with like the entrepreneur path or starting a business. We talk about this on the channel a lot because I love to encourage those of you guys who are artists and who have gifts to use your gifts to draw abundance into your life. So keep following my channel. I talk a lot and I teach you guys how to do that. So this is actually your step. That business idea that you've had 
that side hustle that you want to start, that Etsy shop or that Depop or those gifts you want to offer, that product or that service you want to offer to the world is ready to be born now. So there could be some of you guys who have already started your business per se. Perhaps you've set up your website, you've got the domain name, you've picked out the name of your business, maybe you've started doing some social media to market your business, but it seems like you've been a little stuck recently. Maybe it's because there's some paperwork that you need to fill out, or perhaps there's some type of investment that you need to invest into your business. And the next step for you is to make that investment, whether that's financially or with your time. I feel like for many of you guys, this has a little bit more to do with investing your time and not holding back. Remember, first you take action and then the money comes. First you take action and then the support comes. I want to tell you guys a story I've told a lot on my channel about how I went from just like absolutely nothing and not a lot of education to becoming a fashion stylist in Los Angeles. Now, funny enough, I'm not doing this anymore because I am actually have some different fashion goals now, but that is something I'm really proud of. I remember, you know, I had this day job. I was teaching swim lessons and that was what was supporting me. I had three roommates. I was living in an apartment that was falling apart. I was taking like public transportation and walking to get my groceries. I just, I didn't have much, but I had this dream of being a fashion stylist. You know, for a long time, I told myself I couldn't do it because I couldn't go to school for it. I really wanted to go to FITM or Parsons or something like that, but I wasn't able to get the loans for it. I, I just, it wasn't possible for me at the time. And so I held off on my goal, but I, I started getting creative. I started going to the thrift store and getting clothes um, and finding friends who could model, finding friends who could take pictures. And I started going out into nature and making these beautiful photo shoots and practicing. And over time, I got better at this and I was able to pitch my uh, photos to uh, underground kind of online indie fashion magazines and over time I started meeting more people in the industry and collaborating with more people because I was staying consistent like I was saving money and using that to invest in you know driving into the city and and meeting people and over time I was able to work with better models better photographers up and coming fashion designers and I kept at it all the way until I was being booked to style lookbooks for advertising campaigns. And I was working with uh, designers and, um, and modeling agencies. And, and I actually started to make a living off of this. And that was such a beautiful highlight of my life. It opened up so many doors for me. So don't let not having the money hold you back. You have, sometimes you have to start with where you're at with the tools and resources and materials you already have available for you. So ask yourself, how can you stir up the momentum? How can you work with what you have now? We've been talking about that a lot in the Manifest With Me series. In order to manifest something, you have to act as if it's already happened. And so I've been working lately on manifesting, going somewhere tropical. And so I've been dressing up like I would dress somewhere tropical. I've been listening to like beachy music. I've been beating like these beachy necklaces. And I haven't been doing this all day long every day, but I have been, um, you know, spending a little bit of time in that energy. And I think it's the same thing about a business. If you want to start a business, you need to hire yourself and act as if you already have a job. I did that with this business. I'm very successful successful with this business now. Thanks to you guys. I really appreciate all of your support. But when I first started, I had to act seriously about it. Like I, I would make myself a plan to pull cards, go out in nature and film it and practice three, four times a week. Uh, despite depression, despite anxiety, despite my living situation, despite being exhausted and stressed out. If you guys want to see that, go on my channel and sort my videos from oldest to newest. You can see where I started and I'm still going here. So I just, I want to inspire you guys. I'm obviously talking a lot about myself here with this message, but I just want to show you guys, I'm just a girl in the world. I've got a lot of stuff against me, like ever, all of you guys here who are watching and um, it's possible. It's possible for you to start your business. You just have to get creative. So hire yourself, give yourself a job. You know, 
what is your end goal with this business or this entrepreneur, entrepreneurship path? How often do you picture yourself working? How much effort do you put your, imagine yourself putting in? Like this is a lifestyle. So start living that lifestyle now. Start carving that time out of your routine now. And this is an incredible opportunity for it. With so many people working from home, like if you're working from home, you know, you don't, you're not going out as much. You're not living the same life you were. You have time. Right now, time is on your side. So your action step is to start the business. Act as if you are that boss, that CEO of your own company now. Take it seriously. Give yourself a job. Give yourself tasks to do. Break it down into little baby steps. You don't have to burn yourself out, but make it a part of your everyday life. It has more to do with the momentum and the energy that you are building than it has to do with the actual action steps that you're taking. So just do something, anything to, to stir up the energy, get the momentum going and start making this a part of your life. The universe will start responding to it and telling you, yes, you are the boss of your own company. Yes, you do have a job. Yes, you are abundant. Yes, you are a hard worker. Yes, you are making this happen. Yes, this is your job. So live as if it's your job. Live as if, as if this is your lifestyle. That is definitely your next step. And with the grandfather card here, this is definitely a strong masculine energy card. It's telling you that your next step is to take matters into your own hands. Um, this card has a lot to do with telling your inner child that you will be protected and well taken care of. Maybe a fear that's been holding you back from taking this action step and really acting as if this is your life and like this is what you're doing now is because you're worried, will I be taken care of outside of the system? Will I be taken care of if I don't have that stable, dependable paycheck? And you know, cause when you're starting your own business, you don't really know what to expect. You know, it's, it's a little up, it's a little down. So, this is this this card represents the power of somebody who is grown and who has like integrated themselves. Um, this is somebody who's made up their mind, who's made a very solid decision. Uh, you know, this is a person who's not divided or wishy washy. This is somebody who's not just talking about what they're gonna do; they're doing it. This is someone who's taking full authority, and just keep in mind that what you're going to do here with this business or this opportunity is going to benefit so many people. There's going to be abundance here. This Buffalo symbolizes abundance and wealth. There's going to be abundance for you, but also abundance to everybody that you're bringing your gifts to. So this is telling you it's time to stop hiding your strengths. It's time for you to reveal your strengths for all the world to see. And I know how hard it is. My strength happens to be being intuitive, doing readings for people, coaching others, motivating others. And it's kind of an embarrassing thing, especially for me coming from that like fashion background and just, I don't know, it's embarrassing sometimes. <laughs> it's it, it requires me to get out of my comfort zone. And I bet that your gifts and your skills are going to require you to do something and to that other people around you might not expect that you can do or that you're capable of, or you might shock people. But you know what? Use your gifts, put yourself out there, start from the bottom and blow them all away. This is telling you to be responsible. Responsibility is the ability to respond. The ability to respond to the call, to your true calling. That's true responsibility. That's your next step here. It's time for you to give your gifts without hesitation. You have been bestowed these gifts by the universe or by your higher self or by great spirit. And, and by giving and being generous with your gifts, you will return an exchange. You will um, receive an exchange. So your action step is to give. Let me know if this resonates with you in the comments down below. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out. For those of you who choose number two, let's see what your next step forward is. You are getting the seven of wands and the mother of water. Ooh, this is such a 
calming, nurturing card to see here in contrast with the Seven of Wands. So I think the Seven of Wands is talking about what you're going through right now. And this card right here is your action step. So let's talk a little bit about the Seven of Wands. Um, I mean, just look at this image here. We see this person who is being attacked on all fronts. Um, what I like about this is this person has their shield back. They have their weapon down and they're welcoming the energy. They're like, you know what? If this is what you want to do, like I surrender, like I'm going to allow this. We talk a lot about how whatever you resist persists or resistance makes stronger. So I think this is talking about a lot of things that are you're up against right now. This could be pressures from people around you, maybe your work. This could be financial pressures. This could be pressures from just like what's going on in the world right now. I'm not going to get too specific because YouTube likes to demonetize stuff like that. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about. This event, this whole situation that's been going on for the last year or so, the pressures from that have really been building. And you feel like you're up against a wall here. I've never seen this with this card before, but I'm. this looks like a brick wall. It's literally like trying to knock that down or fighting up against it and you can't. So I love this energy surrounding you because I do feel like you're welcoming this energy. You're starting to learn how to work with it instead of against it. And it does seem like your next step has to do with making a very big decision. I feel like you've exhausted all your resources in your current situation. You might even be called to like go somewhere or move somewhere, maybe leave a relationship, leave a situation. Um, it's almost like if you stay, you're just adding fuel to the fire. This could also be some of you guys who've moved back home to live with your family during this time and how it's just not working for you. Maybe it was something that was meant to be temporary and now you're like, I can't grow here, I can't thrive here, I need to get my own space. So this does make me think about how your next step has, has something to do with gaining your independence, like taking back your power, gaining your independence. And it reminds me of like creating stability in your life. So your action step is really interesting though. So we'll say um, your action step has a lot to do with creating independence in the situation that you're in. So ultimately that is your action step, but this is uh, how to go about it. So this is the mother of water. The mother of water represents like the natural powers of your divine feminine aspect. We all have the energy of the divine feminine within us. This is an energy that is very psychic, very intuitive, very nurturing, very allowing, very receptive. So I think in order for you to survive during this time, you had to bring up your masculine qualities. We all have the masculine in us as well. Regardless of where we fall on the spectrum of gender, we all have, it's not a gender thing, we all have the masculine energy within us. So you've had to be very action oriented, you've had to be very logical, you've had to be very uh, like meticulous, you've had to like hoard your resources, you've had to be very assertive and very dominant. And I think you're being called to like balance this energy out since you've been from this mind frame for so long since you've been acting out of that mind frame you've lost touch with your feminine energy or your feminine essence and so you're being called to reconnect with your feminine energies it's time for you to balance okay these subtle fluid powers of the divine feminine are just as um valuable to you as the the tougher masculine qualities um this is going to help you feel more emotionally secure to create serenity in your life. I think that's been the issue. You haven't been feeling emotionally secure lately. So what can you do? Well, this has a lot to do with tapping into your heartfelt empathy and finding a new perspective on things. This is all to help you. Like balancing your feminine energy is all to help you be able to see from a different perspective and viewpoint so then you can make a decision. You won't be able to make a decision or move forward or even take your next step until you can reach this energy. So what can you do? 
Well, first of all, if you look very closely, we've got a bunch of fish here, but then down here to me, this is so cute. This looks like a little otter. Now the otter animal totem or spirit animal represents playfulness. The otter is at home, both in water and on land. It's funny because water symbolizes the divine feminine or the emotional qualities and land sim symbolizes like the more grounded masculine component. So, and you see the otter in the water. It's like at home in the water, at home in the emotions. I think this is telling you, first of all, you need more laughter and more play in your life. So I would look at what content are you consuming? Are you watching a lot of news? Are you watching a lot of fear-based media? Are you watching a lot of like chaotic drama TV shows? Are you watching um, a lot of like true crime and horror movies and stuff like that? Now, don't get me wrong, you guys. I love that. That's like my stuff. But you've got to, sometimes when you, sometimes you got to cut that out and go on like a little break. You know how some people go on social media um, purges or breaks or cleanses? I think you need to go on a cleanse with like what you're consuming, so it could help you to literally go on a social media break, but if I were you, I would go through and unfollow any accounts that make you feel insecure or that are fear-based or toxic. Don't watch the news. If something crazy goes down, I'm sure you'll find out about it. People will tell you. You're not going to lose touch if you don't watch the news for a couple of weeks. Um, be careful of what pops up on YouTube. Like You need to clean out your algorithms. Maybe come up with a new Instagram account or TikTok account or whatever where all you click on and all you watch is like funny animal videos and inspiring things. I have that. Like I have this one account that all it is is like body positivity. That's all I follow on it is body positive accounts. And sometimes I just switch over to that when I feel like I'm feeling self-conscious or I need to pick me up. It's nice like if I want to go on Instagram or social media, it's all positive stuff. So you just got to be careful because over time we, we get drained, we get stuck in a loop. And I think, honestly think the biggest thing here is telling you that you need balance. You need to create. You're consuming too much. If you consume, 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 it depletes you. So what are you putting out? What are you creating? So anything can help you right now. Anything that's creative. Lately, I've been beading necklaces. I've been talking about that a lot on the channel. I really enjoy it and it's just been helping me. And what I will do is I'll put on some music that just makes me feel uplifted and happy. Um, and I will bead necklaces and just listen to music and just relax, just be in the moment. Nature walks have really been helping me lately, you guys. Even getting, if you can get near the water, a lake, a river, or an ocean, um, try to go outside every single day. If all you have is like you're in the city and it's just this little park around the corner or the tree on the corner, visit the tree, make friends with it. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Bring nature into your home. Get some plants, get some flowers. Um, I'll show you guys. I, I, I got these flowers. I, I had to like invest in Spence. <laughs> I got ripped off for these flowers, you guys. That's why I dried them out. <laughs> I'm hanging on to them. <laughs> but it's really helping. The point is, is connect with nature. Watch what you are consuming. Watch how much you're consuming and bring some fun and laughter into your life. Honestly, all of this can be balanced with just going out in nature. I have a beach just right down the hill from me. Maybe I'll show you guys. You know what? Let's go on a little adventure. Whoa. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's a sunset. Look at this. But even still, I will catch myself not going down there for days and just holding myself up and like working really hard and, um, you know, whatever excuse. There's always an excuse, right? It's too cold. I don't have time. I'm tired. You know, we always have excuses why we can't go out in nature. I know every single one of you guys who's watching has a way. If you're in New York City, you got Central Park. Even in Los Angeles, you know, there's the beach, there's 
Griffith Park. I know wherever it is you live, you've got something. It's kind of like a law most places that you can't just completely obliterate nature. So whether it's the desert, whatever, you might, depending on the weather, you might have to be, it might be tricky. You might have to wear some rain gear or bundle up because it's snowing or whatever, but, or maybe only spend five minutes outside. But the point is, I know you all have nature, but why you guys, why do we make so many excuses? Why do we just be lazy and not go to it? <laughs> Today I went, I've been going, I've been a lot better at it, but today I went down there. I jumped in the water, even though it was freezing and I just, I feel so much better. This is, that's what gave me the energy to do this reading for you guys. So ask yourself, where are you cultivating your energy from? Cultivate your energy from nature. That five, 10 minutes outside, sitting in the grass or feet in the dirt or going to the park makes such a big difference. Um, and try to go somewhere different. If you always walk your dog on the same route, take a different route. You know, get in the car and drive to nature. This we're we're so starved of nature this year. This is the this is the root of all of our problems. It's like we're disconnected from nature. Don't ever forget that we were born into nature. So, I didn't expect this reading to turn into another get out into nature lecture. That happens sometimes on my channel. But let's just pull you a couple extra cards to see if there's anything else you can do as your next step. But yeah, your next step is has a lot to do with balancing your feminine energies so that you can make a decision. Yeah, you're feeling indecisive because of like your emotions are out of balance. This influences you. Your emotions and how you feel influences your ability to make decisions. And there's a decision that needs to be made. I, like I said at the beginning of this reading. Um, something about the public. Maybe you just have a little bit of like agoraphobia right now. Like you're afraid to get out of your house because you're so used to being inside it. So they're like, you need to get outside. You need, this is like the public. It's almost like outside. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, this is unhealthy. It's unhealthy to spend so much time inside just consuming, 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 or scrolling and scrolling. And I'm not just calling you out here. I'm calling us all out. Yeah, they're saying you need to find organization in your life. Um... And then later you can make your decision. I feel like there is something you've been wanting. Like I said, for some of you guys, it's, it's independence. We talked about how your action step or your next step is to create independence for yourself. You're not going to be able to get there or make that happen until you balance your energies. So your action step, your next step is to create independence by balancing and, and and calling forth your feminine energy. So let me know if this resonates with you guys. I'm really interested to see. I feel like I really related with this reading. I bet this is the one I probably would have picked. Thanks again for coming to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. For those of you guys who choose number three, let's see what your next step is. What is your next step forward? Whoa, you're getting the sun reversed and the sun of air. The sun and the sun. <laughs> this card, I like it. It's strong. It's energizing. This one, not so much. I think that this card symbolizes where you're at right now, like what's going on. And then this is like your next step. So the sun reversed. You guys have heard my speech about the sun, about this card, right? If you've been on my channel for a while. By now, you should know that the sun is the most happy and uplifting, rewarding card in the entire tarot. If you ask a yes or no question to the tarot, the sun is the only card that means like a definitive yes. So you're getting the sun reversed. And in this case, I'm going to take this reversal as meaning a complete opposite of the sun, meaning it's just like a big no. That is like your vibe towards life right now. Like you're waking up, you're looking around and you're just like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. Like, 
I don't want to make, I just, I can't. Just no. It's possible you're shrinking back from life right now. Maybe feeling a little depressed, like just feeling frustrated. Um, this, the sun reversed is like things are not going your way. You're like looking around and you're like, this is not where I'm supposed to be. This is not happening. Like, how did I get here? What the heck? This isn't fair. And I feel like you're justified. I feel like a lot of what's happening around you wasn't really your choice isn't really your fault. Um, and it's going to sound a little messed up for me to tell you that you do need to take responsibility in this situation, even if you didn't necessarily create it. I just want to remind you that you have the power and you have the choice to change this. Responsibility simply just means the ability to respond. So it's time to just start. It's time to stop waiting for this to end. It's time to stop waiting for this to be over. And maybe this is world events. Maybe you're saying, you know, once this world event, I gotta be careful of what I say is like YouTube's algorithm demonetizing and stuff, but once this world event is over, then I can do this. Then my life will go back to normal. Then I can be happy again. Then I can move forward with my choice. Then I can do this. Then this will happen and things will be better. Nope, sorry. This might be here for a while. This is the new normal. And I'm not telling you to accept that. I'm just telling you, accept the fact that you have a choice. You really do. Even if it seems like you don't, you do. And so the son of air represents your longing to be free. It's like a rebellious card. Um, this represents the inner conflict and the mental agitation that you have, the restlessness. And you've been trying to, to fill your restlessness through some very egotistical things which is cool. Don't worry. I've been on a shopping spree or two since this whole thing started going down. Myself, you know, we're trying to buy things. We do things that are temporary to try to make us feel better in the moment, but ultimately it's just not hitting the spot long term. And so they're telling you that your action step is to liberate yourself. What is going to make you feel the most free in this situation? What is going to make you feel the most free? It's time, your action step is to learn how to stay centered, even in the midst of all this chaotic activity. Learn to rest in the stillness within you, the silence that is going to clarify all things for you. Basically, this is just saying you've been blaming a lot of stuff on other people and on the world and on the situation. And, and it's possible that you've been wronged here, but no amount of complaining or suffering is going to change things for you. You've got to ask yourself, how am I going to pick myself up and thrive despite this? So I would suggest, I, th I think your next step mainly is to liberate yourself, but some ways that you can do that. What is going to make you feel free right now? What is going to help you to express yourself? Every day, pick something fun to do that gives you something to look forward to. I think you could really benefit. You might want to go back and watch number two because I talked a lot about being out in nature, but I think you could really benefit from doing something a little extreme. Um, this might be like some type of extreme hobby, <laughs> like getting into um, riding dirt bikes or hiking. I think, you know, hiking and being on top of a, a mountain or a big hill and being able to look down and just get that perspective and get that rush is really going to help you right now. Um, when you're in the shower, turning the shower all the way to freezing cold and just like sitting there for a second underneath the freezing cold. First of all, it's really good for your heart and for your circulatory system. Ask your doctor if you're not sure if you're able to take a freezing cold shower, but try that. That can kind of jolt you awake. Um, I mean, you don't want to do out, go out and do anything totally reckless, but do you see this person here? They're, they're riding this horse, they're outside, they're going really fast. You could benefit from something like that. So picking up some type of hobby, investing in something that's like fun or that challenges you also exercise, that could be part of your next step, challenging yourself and your body. 
you know, some other people I might recommend to them to rest, to stretch, to take it slow, take it easy. But for you, I think you need to get your body back in shape or, or to do something challenging, you know, maybe CrossFit, something like that. Maybe doing a Chloe Ting challenge. Anyone else out there do Chloe Ting? I love Chloe Ting's, her workout challenges have really been helping me through this time. So basically your action step has to do with doing something a little extreme, slightly reckless, something to stir up your energy. Know that this is only going to be a quick fix though. It's, you know, you need to liberate yourself every day. Remind yourself that you have the ability to make decisions and choices. So I just feel like for you, choosing something different, doing something unique every day is really going to help you. Because um, if you keep just living the same life, living the same routine, it's like you're bored. You're bored and you're just like, I can't live like this anymore. So you need an outlet for yourself. And I think something that's physical, something that takes you outside would be amazing. So if you've always wanted to play tennis, or if you've always wanted to try rock climbing, or horseback riding, or something like that, that would be something amazing to invest in at this time. Um, and there's a lot of things you can do that are free, like going swimming, or going into nature, <laughs> get creative. Um, I definitely see your next step has to do with liberating yourself, creating a sense of freedom in your life, making different decisions just because you can, just because, ah, I dropped, I don't know if you heard that, but I dropped some cards and guess what fell on the ground? The restless card. I was just saying that you're restless. So sometimes you just have to remind yourself that you're in control, that you have the ability to make decisions. Stop making the same decisions over and over again because it's all you know. That's what's causing the suffering here. Liberate yourself. Um, know what your boundaries are. I think it's almost like test the boundaries, test the limits in your life. I don't want anybody to go out there and do something crazy. I'm just saying a healthy amount of this could be helpful. Like this reminds me a lot of like the energy of like a teenager. Maybe you've grown up so hard and become such an adult that you're not taking risks in your life anymore. And once again, this isn't about being reckless. You don't want to go from being restless to being reckless. We're talking about calculated risks here. <laughs> um, yeah, you need to do something quick because this energy is just built up. Um, and maybe this is telling you, I was kind of getting this feeling that some of you guys are really lovesick right now. Like you're upset because there's somebody that you're into that's not like, like expressing their feelings to you or you don't know where you stand with them. Maybe this reckless decision you need to make is to just speak your truth to somebody so that you know where you stand so that you can clear that energy away or you can move forward with them. Yeah, love, express, connection. Um, so this could also be telling you that this could be a great time for you to date, to open yourself up. Maybe the next step or the, the risk you could take here is to connect with somebody else so that you have a partner to adventure with. So overall, your next step is to liberate yourself. Meditate on what will liberate me. How can I create that? How can I bring that energy to myself? So let me know what you think in the comments below. This is a very unique message. Like I, this is some very unique advice that I haven't, I haven't, I, it's just, I was not expecting it. So if it resonated with you, if it's what you needed to hear, I'd love to hear about that in the comments below. Thanks for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out.